Well, Paul, what's better than being here to call a game? I'll tell you, there is something better, and that is to come here to Wrigley Field and make your major league debut. That's going to happen for the 25-year-old young outfielder from Wright State, a third-round pick by the Marlins a few years ago. He ripped it up in the minors power-wise. This year, 229 at Jacksonville, but a lot of home runs. He does work his way via the walk. He's exciting, and he adds a lot of energy, and he's looking forward to his debut at Wrigley Field in a few minutes. Pretty excited, you know, just getting that call was, was uh, pretty exciting. So I'm just glad to be here and, and grateful for this opportunity. Grew up a Reds fan in Ohio. Tell me about Peyton Burdick, the kid who wanted to be a major leaguer someday. It was fun growing up watching Ken Griffey, Brandon Phillips, and all those guys playing, even watching Billy Hamilton play a little bit. Um, it was pretty cool watching them guys play, and then now I'm here, so it's pretty pretty exciting. Wright State uh, recruited you. Mm -hmm. uh, you weren't as big then, right? You right. put, you put you, nutrition. I know the, the guy that you work with, the right. coach there, was, was very influential mm -hmm. to get you here. Right, yeah, those guys up there had a great development plan going in there. That's what led me to choose Wright State. And I can't thank those guys enough for all that they've done for me and through my journey to get here. So pretty excited. And what about coming out here and making your, your big league debut and your journey uh, that you've had in the minor leagues? You had some big years in the minors this year. You had some power going, and obviously you, you get on base too. Yeah, um, pretty excited, you know. Get to My family's only five hours away from here, so they're going to drive up here for the game. So I'm, I'm pretty pumped for that to get to share this special moment with them. You never went to Wrigley Field at all? No, I've seen it on TV, and I saw it. Uh, like in the postseason <laughs> stuff, but no, uh, pretty much only been on on Great American. So right. Well, take a look around. Does it does it look like does it look like television or is it better in person? What do you think? I think it's ten times better in person. <laughs> <laughs> now the outfield wall. Have you, did you get a chance to shag it at all out out there? No, yet? not yet. We're about to though. All right, you're gonna do yeah. that. So you obviously know it's a brick wall. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm assuming you probably never play with a brick wall anywhere. Um, no, but I've played with some pretty hard fences that I've hit before. <laughs> so. You're known as an intense guy. Can you tell us a little bit about that part of your character? I think just growing up from a young age, my dad's always taught us to work hard in everything we do, play the game the right way, and, and leave it all on the field every time we go out there. So I think that's just carried with me throughout my whole career. So Who's going to be here today? Everybody. Um, my, my, my immediate family, um, my cousins, aunts, uh, my girlfriend, her family, uh, my coach from Wright State is going to be here, Alex Sogard. So it'll be fun to see them. Congratulations. Welcome. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, man. All right, great. All right, going to be exciting to watch the debut of Peyton Burdick. 25 family members are here. We'll talk with them uh, during the ball game as we get set for game one of this three-game series from Wrigley Field.